All right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'll be going over how to scrape options on futures, specifically the E-mini SMP, which I think will be the most requested. So the functions I have written in R are tailored to the index options. If you're trying to get options on agriculturals or metals, it will differ slightly, but if you find an easier way on how to get these and are willing to share, let me know, and then I'll update the script on GitHub. So essentially how this works is we grab the link. Now bar chart has a couple of options for the type. So we have American options, we have end of month options, weekly options, which expire on Fridays, Monday weekly options, and Wednesday weekly options. The difficult part comes with other futures contracts that do not offer Monday or Wednesday weekly options. Some of them just offer American options or end of month options, which can kind of complicate things. So if we take a look at the weekly options, we see that bar chart has its own ticker assigned for this weekly expiration. So if we change this to week two of March, we see that our URL changes. For Monday and Wednesday options, the ticker changes again, which kind of complicates things. So I kind of saw their pattern in regards to the tickers they're using. So once we have these special URLs, we can go ahead and extract these options. So let's go to our R script. So here are some of the packages we're going to require. You will need a couple of things to start off with. You will need the front month for the futures contract, the short contract code, and then the weekly codes. So for the weekly codes, you can easily grab from bar chart, which will be just the first couple of letters. So here we have MI for the Monday and Wednesday options and MW for the Friday expirations. Also the same thing for the end of month codes, which you can just easily grab from bar chart. And again, if you find a better way to do this, let me know and I could update this script on GitHub. So I'll go ahead and run this block. So by passing in the ticker and the symbol, we can generate what futures contracts are actually available on bar chart. So I'll go ahead and run that function and assign it to foot names. And if we take a look at that data table, we get a complete list of all the futures contracts that are available or currently trading. And we can go ahead and scrape options on these specific contracts. So I'll go ahead and close this out. Now I will also scrape the profile and in the profile we get what months are actually traded. So if we go ahead and run that function and get the profile, the profile contains all the data for that specific contract. But what I really want from this profile are the trading months, but it also contains other specific information that might be useful. So I'll go ahead and close this out. All right, so I divided the options into three parts. We will get quarterly options, end of month options, and the weekly options. So for all three, I'll be grabbing the options and calculate the Greeks and return it as a data frame. So here we have a function to handle the future codes and then we will have the function to actually grab and calculate the Greeks for these options. So I'll go ahead and run these two functions. For quarterly options, these are American style options. So I'll go ahead and run that. And then I'll go ahead and grab the quarterly options by running the following line. All right, so what's actually happening in the background is I have assigned a sequence of URLs basically that match that future contract with the special bar chart assigned uh, symbol. And it will just loop through those URLs and get the options. So if there's no option data for any particular contract, it'll just print out the contract that it couldn't get. So if we take a look at bar chart, we see that for the American options, we can currently get up to December of this year. So the March 2022 contract is not yet available. And if we take a look at the actual data, we not only get all the options data from bar chart, I have also assigned the data for the underlying symbol. In this case, for these options, it's the front month. So the March 2021 contract, some open high low close variables, and the very last columns are just the Greeks. So I will actually repeat this process for the end of month options and the weekly options, except that for the weeklies and the end of month, these will be European style options instead of American. And you'll notice a couple of more functions. These functions will help generate the URLs for each of these end of month options and weekly options. So I'll go ahead and run these functions. And then I'll get the end of month options. For each of these, I set a system sleep for 10 seconds. Uh, without it, bar chart will actually block our IP addresses and we won't be able to get any options data for a certain amount of time. So for the weekly options, these will be combined the Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So I will go ahead and run these functions. And then I will pull the weekly options. After this is done running, I will combine the quarterly, monthly, and weekly options together, and then I will save them as an RDS file so that I can analyze these later. So again, these are tailored for the E-mini S&P. Um, I do have 
the codes here at the bottom of the script for other indices. And for most of these, you'll notice that there's only American style options or quarterly options available. So this concludes the video, guys. I hope this video was useful and informative. Please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.